Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. Wherever you are in this world, we all speak one language that is Microsoft Excel. In this video, we are going to learn an amazing trick that will save your time and efforts when working with large data sets in the Microsoft Excel. Have you ever find yourself scrolling through endless rows, columns of the data, trying to keep track of important information? Well, no more. In this video, we will show you how to use conditional formatting to automatically highlight the selected row, column, rows and columns, make it is easier to spot and analyze specific data. If you are new here, consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notification bell so you won't miss any future videos from Monty Excel. Without further delay, let's dive in right in. All right, let's highlight a row which makes easier to spot analyze a specific data. To achieve this, we'll be using a conditional formatting, a powerful feature in Excel that allows us to apply formatting rules based on a certain conditions. We want Excel to recognize whenever you are trying to select a cell in a row or automatically apply the desired formatting to highlight the entire row here. So in order to do this, first step, you select the entire data set, go to the Home tab, and go to the conditional formatting. Under that, we have an option called new rule. We are going to set a new rule here. So there are different rules available here. Format all the cells based on their values. Format only cells that contains or use formula to determine which cells to format. So this is what the option we are looking for because we are writing a formula here. So equals to row, which is no parameter. So equal to cell has a parameter so let's try to pass row as a parameter once you do that click on the format and select the desired format color or font color you can select everything here then say okay then say okay then you see the row has selected here the row is selected but still it is not working 100 percent. the reason is Whenever I'm trying to scroll, there is some action is happening on the Excel sheet, which your Excel spreadsheet is not able to identify. So we need another step in order to make this work 100%. So for which we want to go for a Visual Basic Editor to write a single line of a code. So in order to invoke your uh, Visual Basic Editor, either you can use Alt F11 key, shortcut key to invoke the editor, or else we can just right click on the tab and go to the view code once you go to the view code this is what the editor you are going to see on the screen now click on the general and you'll see a worksheet now i'm writing an event for the worksheet so what event i'm writing here that is a selection change so whenever there is a selection change is happening on your excel sheet something should be triggered so i'm writing here target dot calculate so what exactly this line mean this code mean that means whenever the targeted cell is selected calculation should automatically happen so let me close this and save the file and you click anywhere you'll see that the row is automatically selected and it is working 100 percent all right Let's highlight a column which makes it easier to spot and analyze a specific data. Uh, to achieve this, we'll use a conditional formatting, a powerful feature in Excel that allows us to apply formatting rules based on a certain conditions. We want Excel to recognize whenever we are selecting a column, automatically apply the desired formatting to highlight that entire column. So in order to do this, the very first step, select the entire data set, go to the Home tab, and go to the conditional formatting and say new rule. When you go to the new rule, we'll find uh, multiple rules available here. That is a uh, format all cells based on uh, their values. Format only cells that contains something. Uh, format only top or bottom ranked values. So what we are looking for here is we want to write a formula in order to achieve this selecting a column with a formatted one. So use the last option that is a using a formula to determine which cells to be formatted. So the formula starts with a column, right? And it doesn't have any parameter and equals to 
say sell and within double quotes say call and click on the format select the desired color and say ok and say ok here now you can see that the column is highlighted but it is not whenever i'm trying to change a, into a different column it is not working the reason is uh, the action what we are doing on the spreadsheet spreadsheet is not able to recognize because there's no action is happening there there's no trigger is happening there so for that we need to write a piece of code that is the next step using visual basic editor that is nothing but a macro macro is a piece of code which you are going to write by using a visual basic language so let's try to go for an editor here to go to editor we can use either alt f11 to invoke the editor or we can just click on highlight this view code by clicking on the tab view code here and here select worksheet because we are writing for the worksheet we want this this magic to be happen on the worksheet so we are selecting a worksheet here the event which has been selected here by default that is the selection change so whenever there is some uh, changes happen in the selection we want the trigger to be taken place so for that we are writing as target dot calculate so what this single piece of uh, code is going to do whenever there is a change in the column selection automatically it will try to refresh let's try to save the file now i'm closing the window close the file and whenever you're clicking on any of the column you can see that it is getting highlighted all right I hope you have seen the previous videos where we are trying to use a conditional formatting in order to highlight a row. Also, there is another video to how to highlight a column whenever you are selecting a particular cell. Now, let's try to see the combination of rows and the columns. Whenever you are trying to select any cell in your spreadsheet, that intersection row and as well as the column should be selected to achieve this again we will try to use the conditional formatting as i mentioned it's a very powerful excel function that allows us to apply formatting based on certain conditions and we always wanted excel to recognize uh, whenever we are trying to select any cell uh, that corresponding column and as well as row should be automatically apply the formatting and highlight the entire row and as well as column so the very first step, you need to select the entire data set here on your spreadsheet. Go to the Home tab and go to the Conditional Formatting and click on the new rule. As I mentioned, we have many options here, but we would like to use the last option, which says equal to a formula to determine which cells to format. So here, as you have seen in the previous videos, when I'm trying to uh, format any row, I'm trying to use a function called row. When I'm using, when in the second video, when you're trying to format a column, we are using a column. Now we need to use the, both the combinations, that is the rows and as well as column. So when we are using a, both the conditions, we are using here the R operator and we are using the cell and we have to mention the column. So let's specify COL, that is a column, equals to column. And within this column, there is no parameter here. We are not passing any parameter. All right. Because in the first cell itself, the column has been uh, passed and column doesn't have any parameter for this example. Now let's try to use a comma operator here and use a cell within open and closing parentheses, use a row. As you can see, we are trying to use a column and as well as a row as a parameters here. And finally, we need to say row opening and closing parameters. But hold on, the formula is not yet over. We need to close the final parentheses that is a right parentheses. So now you go to the format, select any particular uh, color, your desired color, uh, let's try to select the font color also this time. That's, let's try to see uh, maybe white. Then once you see OK and OK, you can see the column is selected, but not the row. So that means it is not working 100%. Again, the same reason. That means we need to write a piece of a code behind the scenes that is in the Visual Basic Editor. 
in order to invoke it, either we can use Alt F11 or you can just go to right click on your tab and go to the code window. Here, try to select the worksheet. As I mentioned earlier, worksheet selection change is an event. Uh, whatever you write a piece of code here that will trigger whenever there is a change in the spreadsheet. So let's try to use the same uh, line of code here that is target dot calculate. So I want to refresh on every selection. Now let's try to save the file here. Let's try to save the file and see whenever you're trying to select, okay, the intersection cell and as well as the column is being selected. Whenever any cell is selected, you want to highlight with some color, with some certain formatting. So to, to, to achieve this, we need to use a two-step method here. Step one, we are going to apply conditional formatting. Step two, we are going to write a piece of code in Visual Basic Editor, nothing but macros. To apply the conditional formatting, select the entire data set, go to the home button and select your as a new rule. Once you select, there are so many options available here, but unfortunately, there is no built-in function which is available which can highlight a cell, row, or column. So we need to write a formula here. So what formula we are going to write here? As it is a combination of row and a column which is going to highlight a cell, we need to use AND. And also use a column and also a row as the intersection is going to be a cell. So let's try it. A formula here that is AND operator then I'm going to say column within opening and closing parentheses equals to cell then within double quotes use column as a parameter then use row then open and closing parentheses as it doesn't have any uh, parameter here equal to cell within open and closing parentheses we are going to use within the double quotes that is a row that's it we have done the job now let me close this the last parameter closing parentheses now as you can see my my entire my entire formula is now i want to format this by using any of the colors so for that let me go for a green color and italic i want to change the color into white and say okay and say okay here we go now once you see once you say okay you can see the color is really applied but really the still the job is not completed you can see whenever i'm selecting michael here the cell is not selected when i'm selecting chicago it is not happening so overall it is not working because we are just crossed the step one so what is the step two? Step two, we are going to use a Visual Basic code. So in order to write your VBA code, we can access that editor by going to developer tab. That is click on a Visual Basic or right click on the tab. You can click on view code or else we can use again a shortcut key that is Alt F11. So once you click on Alt F11, this is what the editor we are going to see where you're going to write Visual Basic code. So I'm selecting a procedure called worksheet selection change. So whenever there is a change, I want the target cell should be automatically calculated. That's it. This is a single line of code which you are going to write in the VBA editor to achieve this. Once you say close and click on anywhere, let's click on Robert. It's working. When you click on $75,000, it's working. So it's working perfectly by the second method that is using VBA code, which you are trying to bring a dynamism. Though you applied the conditional formatting, we need a VBA code behind the scenes. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.